Hi, I'm Ella Detweiler. And I'm Kylie Doherty. And we're here for our final homecoming update. Today you should be wearing your Generations outfit and tomorrow wear your homecoming shirt. Tomorrow's our pep rally. It starts at 9 a.m. and we will be having activities in the afternoon. Make sure you're signed up for one. What's tomorrow night, Ella? Tomorrow's our football game against Butler. It's also our homecoming game, so come out and support and see who gets the crown. What's Saturday, Kylie? Saturday is our homecoming dance. It's from 6 to 8. Make sure your paper's turned in and make sure you bring your ticket to the dance in your picture form if you're getting pictures from there. That's all. Now back to the desk. Good morning, Connellsville Area High School, and welcome to Falcon News. Today is Thursday, September 26th. I'm Marissa Miner. And I'm Lakin Burnsworth, bringing you today's news and announcements. This week at CAHS, tomorrow our Falcon football team takes on Butler Area School District. The theme is blue and white, and don't miss the announcement of Homecoming Queen at the game. Be sure to show your school spirit this week for dress up days. The pep rally is tomorrow morning with activities during 7th period, 8th period, and 9th period. Yesterday morning, students gathered around for a moment of prayer at the flagpole. Have you seen the halo sensors all around the bathroom? Mr. Bosnick has a video that will give you more information on the sensors. Good morning, Falcons. I'm Mon Kelly. And I'm Ethan Galbraith. I bet you all have questions about the newly installed halo sensors in the bathrooms. Lucky for you, we are going to interview Mr. Bosnick on the matter and understand why these were implemented. Well, you know, over the years of seeing the data to describe how harmful vaping uh, and smoking is to the lungs and to the human body, we knew that, you know, this was becoming a trend that was uh, gaining more popularity with our students, uh, students throughout the country. So we wanted to make sure that we were doing everything to have the healthiest environment as possible. Halo sensors have a unique mechanism that they can detect air quality, carbon dioxide, smoke, therefore smoke, uh, particulates. Uh, they also are there to identify uh, if there would be a loud noise or thud beyond like uh, a reasonable everyday uh, situation. Uh, there's also even keywords that it, it can identify if someone was a safety risk. I'm hoping that they've been effective and the reason why I say that is is probably on during the first week of school we had anywhere between 10 and 15 detections per day that we were getting signals and as that has been communicated to the students and obviously uh, you know we've been having these cases happen uh, they have decreased over over time so you know, recently throughout the week, we if the first week we went from 10 to 15 a day, we're down to maybe three to five a week. Okay. The consequences for students who are caught vaping would be the first op first time offender would have an opportunity to take an in-depth class that's offered through Fayette County Drug and Alcohol. And the class is an educational approach to, you know, give the students the information on the harmfulness of using tobacco, uh, vaping products, THC, things like that on the human body. So it, we, the first offense would be using that approach, uh, also with a day of in-school suspension. Uh, if students continue to, uh, you know, get caught using these products, uh, they will then begin to get fined and charged and obviously then the uh, discipline continues to increase. So from PSR to eventually you get suspended from school. Here you go Falcons. As said by Mr. Bosnick, the halo sensors are essentially installed for your own well-being. Please respect the new installments and with that, have, have a, a good, good day, day and, and now back, back to, to the, the desk. desk. It's been a great theme week for HOKO so far. If you've missed a day, there is one more day to dress up. The last theme day is wear your HOKO t-shirt or blue and white. Chain links will be sold during Falcon time and each chain link is just one quarter. 
The money raised will go to community ministries. The room that sells the most chain links will receive Dunkin' Donuts and Dunkin' Hot Chocolate during Falcon Time the Friday after homecoming. Let's see which rooms will compete the hardest in this friendly competition. We know the race to win got intense between a few rooms last year. Who will fight the hardest this year? Be the room to get the competition rolling on a chance for a Dunkin' Party next Friday. PSAT takers. In order to ensure your Chromebook is ready for testing, a digital readiness session, session must take place. There will be a mandatory session during Falcon Time on October 1st. Please report directly to Room 20, 121 with your charged Chromebook. Make sure you also check your email regarding test date details. Students will either test on October 8th or October 9th. You will only need your charged Chromebook and a pencil. The, test, the testing rosters are also posted outside of room 121. The Bible Club hosted See You at the Poll yesterday morning at the front of the building before school started. Students and staff prayed for our government, loved ones, teachers, students, friends, and family. Here you can see pictures from yesterday morning, and they had a great turnout. Thank you to all who participated. Now let's turn over to Cole Burkholder for a look at today's weather forecast. Welcome to Global Falcon Weather News. I'm your meteorologist Aaron Michaels, and today we're going to be tracking yet another storm across the Atlantic, Tropical Storm Helen, which currently has winds of 45 miles per hour and a pressure of 999 millibars. The storm is currently expected to move towards the Yucatan Peninsula before shifting eastward towards the state of Florida and make landfalls about a Category 3 hurricane on the Florida Peninsula near the city of Tallahassee. However, this storm could potentially become even stronger, given this time of the year the waters are extra warm, so this storm could become a Category 4 hurricane. However, that all has to do on whether the wind shear in the Gulf of Mexico will remain calm, because the jet stream is currently moving south towards the Gulf of Mexico, which could, keep, which could weaken the storm a bit, or keep it as it's forecasted for 115 mile per hour winds. Now we're going to jump over to the models so we can see the future track and just how this storm is exactly going to play out. Now taking a look at the forecast model, we're going to really see the track and just how much rain some of these areas are going to be getting from this storm. So as I said, the storm is going to be moving towards the Yucatan Peninsula and then shift eastward towards the state of Florida and make landfall in the Florida Panhandle. This storm could bring heavy rain and tornadoes across the southeast as well as bring some heavy storm surge onto the coast of Florida. I would say about six to eight, eight feet of storm surge being pushed onto the shore. And this storm is just going to continue its way northward across the southeast U.S. and maybe even give us just a little bit of rain. Probably not, but it's definitely not impossible. But this storm does die off fast. That'll be all for Global Falcon Weather News, and I will see you again on another weather report. Good morning. I'm Cole Burkholder, your weather news reporter for today. Today, over a high of 76 and a low of 62. Today, it will be mostly cloudy with some rain in the morning. The sunset will be at 7.08 p.m. And tonight will be a waning crescent moon. That's all for today, and now back to the desk. Thanks, Cole. Hallway decorating has started. In case you missed it, here are the hallway locations. Freshman, upstairs hallway by the main stairs. Sophomore, science wing. Juniors, media center hallway. Seniors, math slash office hallway. Decorating wraps up today after school from 3 to 5 p.m. If you plan on going to the gaming club field trip at Dave & Buster's, please turn in your signed permission forms and money to Miss Labuda by October 1st. The trip is open to the first 40 students who turn in the signed forms and $45 cash. If you are a member of Student Council, please bring in snacks for HOKO ASAP. Freshmen and sophomores bring in water, juniors bring in chips, seniors bring in individually wrapped, packaged sweet treats. We have an update on the trip to Lancaster that the Bible Club is hosting in April. The first bus to see Noah is completely full, and the second bus has been reserved. There are only 40 spots left for the trip. Reserve your spot now. The total cost is $120, and you need to make a $70 non-refundable deposit to reserve your seat. Get your money and turn your permission slips in ASAP to reserve your spot. See Mrs. Ricky in room 214 with any questions. For today's lunch, we will be having pasta with meat sauce, garlic breadstick, green beans, and a side salad. According to nationalcalendarday.com, today is National Alpaca Day. Want to learn college credits while still being in high school? Scan the QR code to see which courses have been approved. 
Register by the listed deadlines if you are currently in the approved course. See your counselor for questions. Now let's head over to our sports broadcaster, Caden Logan, for this week's upcoming sports. I'm Caden Logan, reporting from the Falcon Nest, bringing you sports. On Monday, the boys' soccer team lost to Lower Highlands 4-1, and the girls' soccer team lost to the Trobe 9-1. For Tuesday, the girls' volleyball team played against Penn Trafford. For yesterday, the girls' tennis team played Frank Regional. The boys' and girls' cross-country team had a section meet. The girls' volleyball team played home against Albert Gallington. And the girls' soccer team played against Mount Lebanon. Today, the boys' soccer team plays Upper St. Clair with JV at 6.15 and Borsi at 7.45. Tomorrow, our football team plays home against Butler with kickoff at 7. That's all we have for today. See you next time. Now back to the desk. Thanks, Caden. If you want to find out about upcoming events from the CTC or learn more about the Skills USA program, be sure to follow them on Instagram and Facebook, displayed on the screen now. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube at CASD Falcon Productions to see our news, special videos, and live events after they happen. Subscribe now. Thanks again for watching today. Tune in tomorrow. And, and have, have a great, great day, day Connorsville. Connorsville.